All right, guys. Well, the pups are going to be so excited today. <laughs> I got them some more good treats. Uh, they chewed down the other ones. <clears throat> and uh, I want to tell you a little bit about this company before I open the box. Now, first of all, um, I am not sponsored by Best Bully Sticks in any way whatsoever. They do watch my videos, uh, but I paid for everything in that box just like you would. So this is an unbiased opinion on the company. I was dealing, I've been dealing with them for about a year now. And probably one of the fastest shipping companies that I deal with. I ordered this two days ago and it was on the doorstep today. And to me that's not too bad. Another thing that they do is they send you a tracking number when it's shipped right away automatically to your email. You know, you would think a place that sells dog treats and bones, you don't think they would normally go that far, but this place does. It doesn't matter if the order is like a $5 whatever, $5 treats, whatever. They will send you a tracking number, and that way you'll know when it's going to get to the house. Never had any problems with them as far as shipping and all this other stuff. The only negative I can say about, the, about Best Bully Sticks is they are not the cheapest. Uh, but they have verified that their products are natural. Some of the other companies out there that sell bully sticks and whatnot, uh, their products uh, don't come from free-range grass-fed cows and things like that. And I don't want to stretch this video all out, guys. I don't want to bore you. But I'm just saying this is a good place to deal with, not the cheapest. So do your shopping and what you know, look and see what you want to buy. In this box is one jumbo elk antler. Elk antlers are more expensive than deer antlers, but they are harder and last longer. These are non-processed, straight off of the ground, harvested right from the ground when they're shed, and packed up and shipped. There's one deer antler in here and one elk antler. So let me get a knife and We'll take a look, and then I will show you the pups getting them. It'll be a little bit crazy <laughs> when they first get them, but uh, we'll, we'll see what that's like. I'll also get to show you, too, how this place packs everything, because they do a good job. These little things in there. Let's see what we got here. Okay, now <laughs> here is the deer antler. Now these do not last as long as the elk antlers, but they still last me a good couple months because what happens is the dogs chew on them for a long time, and then uh, they they kind of get bored. Not they don't really get bored with it, but they start to chew it normally. Like, instead of chewing it anytime they're awake, they kind of like chew it when they're bored, you know. And then the rest of the day they do other things and, you know, in the evening I'll hear them come in and chew on these. When you first get them for, for about the first 24 hours, you're going to hear them off and on chewing on these like crazy. So these aren't bad. And, you know, having two dogs, I wanted to get two things. Now this is... <laughs> This is huge. I think this is the biggest piece of antler that they sell from an elk. And I got this for Goro. It's his birthday, June 22nd this month. And I'll probably do a birthday video on him as well. And he'll be three years old and he'll be considered a fully adult dog. But anyway, I got this for Goro. And he is going to love it. Man, this thing feels like a tree trunk. This thing is literally that heavy. So this was 30 bucks, $29.99. But I would almost guarantee you that this thing will last me probably half a year. Now, time varies from dog to dog. You know, I've had people send me messages and say, you know, my dog is a lab and it chews down such and such in a week, whereas of my dog Goro had that same thing for a month. 
So it's going to vary from person to person. And you don't want to get something like this if your dog is small. This is just too big for the dog. Okay. But I would almost be willing to bet this will probably last me six months. Now, when the dogs chew into these and stuff, I believe it was... Um, Bulwark 1911, if I'm not mistaken, if I am, I'll correct it, but I think it was Bulwark 1911 who, who kept urging me to get natural chew toys, and I should have listened to him earlier, but I finally went and looked this stuff up, and as this stuff breaks down, it's good for the dog. They can eat it. It's got minerals, vitamins, just a bunch of stuff in there that's good for the dog, and they love it, whereas of like your plastic chew toys and uh, I'm trying to think of the name of some of these things and I can't. Uh, any kind of rubber Kong balls, anything like that. As they eat that stuff, it's not meant to be digested, so it's not good for the dog necessarily. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get Goro out here, the birthday boy, and I'm going to let you guys see the pups go at it with these and see what they do. All right, everyone, I'll be back in one sec. What is that, JD? What is that? Here, Gore. Oh, yeah, he took right to that big one. No problemo. See, but he wants to... He thinks that she's got something better than him every time I give them things. Okay guys, I got some happy pups on my hands and uh, this will be what they do about all weekend here. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, this is H4T, Jade, and Goro, and we're out.